Zuri's on Watcher's Grave on Nessus. He's currently selling the Season of the Splicer armor, specifically the Lycan armor. Now, I have gotten a lot of comments asking when this armor is coming back. Hopefully, everyone who commented that sees this video because this armor is legitimately one of the coolest armor sets for almost all of the classes. I think the Titans may have lost maybe a little bit of that, but I think the Hunter and the, Tit and the Warlock specifically have some of the best pieces. And if I'm being quite honest, the Warlock is just one piece. So before we talk about the armor, we're actually going to be looking at the armor set right now because I think it's important to showcase just how amazing this armor looks. So for the Warlocks, I think the chest piece easily is the best piece from the whole set. But don't look overlook the arms. The arms are really good. The boots are also really good, especially if you want to go for like a mummy look or a very like kind of like, uh, I don't know how to say like a not dystopian, but like like a ragged look, I guess you would say. The bond is also really good for something more simplistic. I think the only piece that really sucks from the Warlocks is the helmet itself. It's way too bad in my opinion. For the Titan, I think the chest piece is really good. I think the arms are super, so fucking good. I would argue that it's probably one of the better arms from the whole, from everyone. Um, and the mark is actually very usable. It's just very finicky. The only pieces that I really don't like are the helmet and the boots. Other than that, all of the other pieces are amazing. Hunters, the cloak is probably one of the best cloaks in the game for the hunters. The arms are really good. The chest piece is also really good and I've been fucking with it with new stuff and I may show you guys at the end of the video if you guys are interested. But uh, overall, I think the weakest portions from that is again, the boots and the helmet for the hunters. So again, I just wanted to put this right now because I highly recommend you guys pick all of them up. And if you guys don't pick all of them up, at least pick up the pieces that I said were good, because I think those are universally going to be used with almost anything you can use. The arms, very usable with other pieces that have fur on them. The chest pieces, again, very usable specifically for the hunter. You can use it with other stuff aside from fur stuff, but for the hunter or for the Titan and Warlock, the fur is really good. Uh, again. That's just, I really wanted just to really showcase just how amazing this armor is. So for the armor, we're going to be looking at, mm, this isn't terrible. Like, I'm just going to say that outright. I would probably bump up the resilience a little more, or you can just go put your chips in recovery so you can have a, a 30 when you masterwork this. That'd be pretty nice. And you might as well do that and get another piece that has high resilience chest piece is actually pretty decent if the mobility and the resilience were switched out i would actually say this is probably one of the best chest pieces we've seen in a while but this is still good 22 uh recovery or yeah recovery and discipline is really good i would probably just bump up the recovery to 32 and then just get another piece that has high resilience again same thing as the arms uh helmet is decent it's not terrible i, I would probably not pick this up personally and then I would ignore the boots. Boots are terrible. So Warlocks, let me know if you guys are picking some of these pieces up. At least the chest piece because the chest piece is amazing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. As for the Titans, again, I think the arms are amazing. Chest piece is amazing. And the mark is fine. It's just, again, very finicky. Uh, for the chest piece specifically, just be aware that the colors on the sides of the chest pieces almost next to the shoulders are actually different colors. So if you shader them, you're going to be having to fight the shader a lot. So uh, it's really unfortunate, but there are two shaders in the game that are really good for combining uh, an armor set, just one color, which is Dreaming Spectrum, which I've talked about multiple times in videos and the uh, new shader, which is, let me see, actually, I might as well show you guys. I don't remember the shader, Argent Territory, this one. This is also a really good shader combined into one color. So, uh, hopefully Zer's selling it, or not Zer, hopefully, uh, what's her face is selling it? Tess? Jesus Christ, bro. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm not showing you. Oh my God. Please, bro. So, yeah, let's go over the arms, I guess. Um, not bad. I will. I mean, eh, like I, I wouldn't pick them up personally. Again, if you don't have the arms though, I'll just pick them up so that way you can unlock it in your collections. So that way you can unlock it later for your fashion. But uh, stat wise, I don't really care for them. Uh, 
I'd pick I'd pick this up just because the resilience is at 10. Everything is at, is at 14, which is fine, I guess. And then the strength is at 10, which is fine as well. If you put on the uh, the mod that gives you a plus 20 on strength, then it'd be a 30. Uh, I would probably bump up the resilience to a 20. 14 recovery is like not the best though, personally. So I probably wouldn't pick it up actually, now that I think about it. This one is um, fine. I'm uh, very like middle of the road and this is terrible. So yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think. Uh, so let's actually, the reason I'm saying this is finicky is because of the fact that I don't like how the, sh the cloth or the, I shouldn't say cloth, the fur is actually like underneath the the mark belt i really don't like that because it looks really weird and also looks like it also looks like the the cloth is way too high up on the stomach so that's why i say it's finicky like it looks cool in certain pieces but just be aware that you're gonna fight it sometimes as for the hunters like i said the arms are probably one of the best pieces uh chest piece is also really good and the cloak is i think one of the best pieces as well uh, for the arms, we're going to be using uh, 17 mobility. Uh, this isn't bad. Um, there's a few, th you, you can go a few ways with this one specifically. If you bump up the, the mobility with powerful friends, bump it up to a 27. That's pretty gross. And then you can probably bump up the recovery or resilience a little higher. Hmm. Yeah, this is okay. I mean, I wouldn't pick it, pick it up because I have better arms. But again, if you don't have this in your collections, pick them, pick it up. Uh, chess piece, 12, 12, 6. I'd, I'd, personally, I would ignore this one. Although, if you bump up the recovery to a, to a plus 10 to a 16 and then put powerful friends on mobility so you can get a 20, a 32, then a 32, 12, 16, mm, it's okay. I mean, I really like the high resilience, but 12 is not that high personally. If it's like a 22, then I, then I'm, I'm at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm listening. Uh, helmet, uh, I'm gonna be real with you, chief. Uh, if you pump, see the problem with using powerful friends is that's assuming hunters are already using that. So you're also having to account to like, oh, well, like now I might be losing more mobility because the, I don't know. Personally, I, I wouldn't pick this up. Uh, plus 10 on, on the recovery, 17, and then powerful friends. 12, so a 32, 13, 17. I think that's pretty decent and high intellect is just a bonus at that point. So that's pretty good. Yeah, Hunters, Titans, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I, I think this armor is like one of the best armors that we got from a season because it just looks so cool and it is very versatile. Like I've used the arms for the Hunters on multiple pieces. I used it for my Iron Lord set that I made uh, right here. It's one of my favorite sets. The chest piece I'm also using for a current look that I'm currently trying to see if I like or not. I'll show you a glimpse of it in a bit, but yeah, overall, definitely, definitely really cool armor sets. Armor set are, are a little weapons. We're gonna be looking at Icolos, Genesis Disruption Break. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that. Death Adder auto little Death Adder auto loading holster and disruption break. I'm gonna ignore that. Icolos SMG subsistence and demolitionist, which is a dub. I would pick this up. I actually did pick this up already. Uh, I have it in my inventory right now, so that's why I'm not gonna buy it again. Iota Draconis surplus and frenzy, which is I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. Um, I don't even have to explain why. Fractist with full auto trigger system and thresh, which is pretty terrible. Seven serve saw, Zen moment, and disruption break, terrible. Underdog snapshot sites, terrible. Do you have at least have like extra perks? You have quick draw. Ooh, quick draw and snapshot sites. Okay, I'll pick that up. Uh. I should probably explain. I'm picking this up because with snapshot sites and quick draw, it makes it so much better because it is a high impact frame. High impact frames are usually terrible in the handling situation. So that's why I'm picking it up. Um, Hawkmoon with opening shot, which is pretty nice. We have Dead Man's Tail with Vorpal. I would, I'd recommend this if Dead Man's Tail wasn't fucking nerfed to the ground. And then for exotics, we have Hard Light, which is an easy, easy recommendation. 
It's really good for high-end content if you need all of the burns in one. The only thing you won't be getting is stasis, but stasis doesn't have a shield, so you really don't, it doesn't matter. Uh, for the exotic liar's handshake, uh, this is okay. The reason I'm saying this is okay is you definitely want higher mobility. Although higher strength is nice, but I personally would just like higher mobility for the more dodges. Um, I don't know. You could put powerful friends on this. It would turn into a 34. And then from there, you can go higher recovery or higher resilience. Either way, I'm, I'm going to ignore this one because I already have Liar's Handshake. But if you don't have Liar's Handshake, then pick it up. Lion Ramparts uh, with ones on pretty much everything, which is nice, but on mobility is kind of useless personally. But Lion Rampants are not an exotic that you're going to be using all the time. This is strictly like a meme exotic slash I use this in jumping puzzles. So it's fine. And the crown of tempest which if these were if these were stats on a hunter this would be nice but the mobility being at 14 is pretty gross and obviously if you don't have crown of tempest just pick it up because crown of tempest is that good that doesn't matter what what stats you get on it so as for the exotic let's actually take a look at what we get and hopefully i get something good young haka okay young haka 24 where what the fuck oh, this is Mm. <sighs> Ooh. Oof. Okay, I'll I'll see if I can fuck with that one a bit. But let me actually showcase. Oh, let's use the um, car spine. Let me actually showcase what I was talking about for the chest piece because I did unlock it not too long ago. So this is what I currently have for the set that I'm working on, which everything aside from the chest piece and the and the uh cloak is what I've been working on. Everything else is like just what i just put on right now so for example the wing contender helmet the legacy oath strides and the exotic that we just got are just pieces that i just put together because i just wanted to showcase but the two pieces that i really wanted to show you guys is the cloak and the helmet or the cloak and the chest piece because it is so fucking cool how the hose right here almost connects perfectly to the hoses down here so yeah just shows just shows you that little things like this really improve a set just that much more so let me know what you guys think are you guys going to be picking up the lightkin armor i think it's an easy dub a lot of people have been asking for it for good reason because the exotic is really good or the exotic the uh the armor set is really good one of the best armor sets in the game so don't overlook it i definitely don't want to see comments telling me oh i skipped it because i didn't think i was gonna like it but now with all these cool sets coming out i regret it when does it come out because i'm gonna laugh at you so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below thank you guys for everything and i'll see you guys later